Good morning and happy Canada 150 to all of you. And uh, what does Canada mean to me? You know, I have never paid income tax in any other country than Canada, and this is the only country I have worked. And um, so many memories. The other day, I was in downtown, close to Robson. I saw they restored this old brass bird. And I remember, I sat down there with my mother in 1972 and took a photograph. This is home. This is home to me. India is a foreign country. But I'm very proud that I belong to that civilization too. Recently, I'm just dealing with and recovering from my experience with cancer. And I don't wish anybody to have that experience. But it makes you realize that life must go on and you must keep living. It also made me realize my friends and my relatives and my close ones and redefining that relationship, the relationship to your surroundings and the relationship to your people in a new light. It wasn't so much of a fear for me that the things are coming to an end. But it was an amazement that there is something new which is not there. I can feel it, but I couldn't see it. And all I could think about, just like a big bulldozer, when it smashes a building, you feel the thunder, you feel the ground moving, but you don't see the brand new building coming out. So my friends, with all your blessings, I'm here. I thank my God for giving me opportunity to be here, but I thank all of those too who helped me realize my relationship with them. I will give you a little bit taste of Hindi, and that's from my new book that's coming up. It's called Riding the Tide. I will just read one verse from there. It says, Na jaane kiski duaon ka asar hai mujh par Na jaane kiski duaon ka asar hai mujh par Doobne lagta hun to lehre uchha deti hain Translation It's the magic of your blessings and good wills When I'm just about to drown The waves lift me up and here I will go with a very short poem for you. One of the reasons I'm standing very close to this one because sometimes I do need a little help. Though it may be psychological that I feel that I need to hold on to something. Imagine a circle. Imagine a circle, no beginning, no end. Where would you be if you were inside the circle? Where would you be if you were not if you were inside the circle? Cut the circle, there's no more inside or out. Set yourself free and live beyond yourself. I don't know you can relate that to my experience with cancer or not, but that's what I felt. You cut it. A drop of water breaks on falling. A drop of water breaks on falling into millions pieces. Imagine. Imagine what would happen when I fall. The moon disappears as clouds roll in. The moon disappears as clouds roll in my lonely heart. My lonely heart looks for a companion, my shadow. Because sometimes you go through so much desperation, 
it's only your shadow that's your companion. You and me totally eclipsed tonight and the blood moon blossoms. When I look, I don't really see what I want to see. When I look, I don't really see what I want to see. Only when I don't look, I see everything. Thank you very much.